It's your boy Scoob. Hey, today we're doing uh, this podcast channel is called Living Life in Today's Society, and I like to call it that because it gives us the opportunity to talk about whatever we want to talk about. And so this episode is going to be called What's the True Definition of a Friendship in This Society? And <clears throat> there's so many different definitions, you know, like you got people who are around you who aren't really friends, and you got people who truly are your friends. And today we got two guests. We got Jamie. Hi. And we got Finley. Hi. How are y'all doing? We're doing good. <clears throat> good. Let me hold my good. mic away. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> are y'all popular? Like, do y'all feel like y'all have a lot of friends? I think she's, everybody knows who she is. I don't know if I'm considered popular, but I have a lot of friends. What's the definition of popularity? Every, well, like, people in different grades know her, like, people popular, know Finley. As in, because I talk a lot, and I try to make friends everywhere I go. That's Everybody why. just knows Finley. I'm not I'm not known until you know me. Listen, that's okay. <clears throat> you don't have to have a certain amount of people around I, you. I you have know. a big group, just not like That's all And right. what I struggle with is like I know too many, like I know a ton of people. I don't have one group. I'm more of like a floater, if that makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah. do you like label people like um association? Wait, I can't even say that. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say the word that I'm trying to think of. Okay, so how do you define friendship? How do y'all define friendship? Um, you want to go first? You want me to go first? You go first. Okay. Um, I, like, someone who will um, stick with you when you're going through something hard, or, like, someone who's just loyal and will stand up for you and help you when you're in, like, time of need or, like, really upset. They'll just always be there for you. Right. And they'll make you happy when you're there around. Okay. I would probably say, like, when you have bad days, even the people who are going to stick with you, when you can be a jerk that day, and they can be a jerk to you, and y'all still find a way to work it out, and they just not, like, leave right when things get hard between you guys. Yeah. No, I think that's important. I think sometimes, you know, like, it's hard to define a friend because, you know, like, we hang out with people, and we talk to people every day, and we're like, oh, yeah, you know, like, that's my friend. But sometimes we get in situations where that person that you thought was your friend is like, oh, well, I can get this person to do whatever I want to do that I want right. to do, and I can make fun of them or I can judge them, you know? And so, like, so, you know, so we're going to get deeper into this conversation about, you know, like, what a real friend looks like because sometimes people can be around you and they can be toxic. And sometimes you actually do have friends that you don't even hang out with every day, but that's definitely your true friend that you can call on and you can hit up every day. Like, yeah. I'm at My this point in life. My friends are calling me right now. Look at that. <laughs> that's lit. Hey, see, you know, anybody call it my phone, but that's okay. No, I, I have friends, like, because I got older, like, I got friends now that I don't hang out with every day. I wish I hung out with more, you know, but those are, I know there are certain people that I can truly call on, you know. But yeah. after we, we get on this, you know, deeper into this conversation, we're going to see if y'all definitions stay the same and what a friend is. Okay, so what are big quality traits that you would see in a friendship? Loyal. Loyal? Yeah, they won't, like, be fake and talk bad about you. They'll always, like... I feel like loyal is really big now in our generation because people can switch up so fast. I I've noticed this year, it's my freshman year of high school, and so, like, one of my best friends who I was so close with, we're just not as close anymore because she switched up. It's yeah, crazy. people just change. It's so, like, not for the better, paths. though. It's like they change just to be, like, because they want to be cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just rude. No, that's valid. For no point. Yeah. It's so bad because I had a friend, man, I had a friend in, um from, like, middle school up to high school. Like, I'm talking about, bro, we were close. Like, mm -hmm. I switched schools for this friend, oh you know. Goodness. Like, oh my God, me too. It's so crazy, it's so right? Wild. Are you Are you still friends with that friend you switched schools with? No, I'm not. Me either, but it's listen, crazy. I'm finna elaborate because this story is so crazy. <laughs> okay, we gotta like, hear this. So I was super cool with this friend. Like I'm talking about, like we hooped together. Like anytime we went together, like he was the one that was always saw me. Like everyone, you know, you talk about day ones. This was my day one. Yeah, right. And we hung out, and so um one day like uh his car had broke down. Like I'm talking about, if it was ever a situation where I had to fight for him, like I would fight for him. But one day like. Our car, his car broke down and he needed somebody to go pick it up, you know, like, and so I brought my brother with me and, um, he brought a friend with him, you know, like, and so we going to go pick up this car and like, he told me it was a distance, but it was further than what he told me. And so like we driving 
And like when I drive, like I leave my music blasting, like you know, like because I I just like to right. listen to my music. Like yeah. don't get on your phone and talk on the phone when you're in my car because I want to hear my music. I know. The music like, that's so important. real. It's so, so real. Like bro, all the stuff you had nothing to say until we got in the car, and now you want to talk and get on the phone, bro. Like let me now listen. you want to call someone. <sighs> let me listen to my music. But anyways, you know, so we driving for a cool little minute or whatever, and I think like maybe like. 30, 45 minutes, maybe like an hour pass, and I'm driving straight. Because he told me I was driving to a, a a toll or whatever, you know. Like So I'm like, okay, cool. Cool little distance. We get there. I turn the music down, and I was like, are we almost there? He was like, yeah, it's just straight up ahead, you know. Like, and so long story short, it was it probably turned into like maybe like a two-hour drive or whatever. Like it oh was a, it was so far. And so his friend that I was friends with as well, but not as close as them two were. Mutual. I remember like a month came, a passed by or whatever. And so uh, I was at, I worked with his friend. And so he was telling me, he was like, hey, bro, remember that day where you and um so-and-so were in the car and me and Trey, I'm not, I didn't mean to say his name, but. <laughs> you could learn how to beep it. <laughs> I don't know how to beep nothing out, so apologize. Beep. But, you know, <laughs> we cool beep. now. Well, we all right. You know, I forgive him. But so, you know, like, um, he was like, remember that day, you know, when we were in the car, whatever, you know, so-and-so happened. I was like, yeah, you know, he was like, well, me and so-and-so were texting and we were like, if he turns around, you know, like, I'm going to fight him and you're going to fight him. What? And so oh I'm goodness, like, that's, that's crazy. I'm like, All right. I was like, first off, you wouldn't have beat me up. And my brother, I was like, you definitely wasn't going to beat him up, you know? Right. So. I called the dude, you know, like, and I call him and I get on the phone and I was like, hey, bro, so remember the day, you know, like you said, so-and-so? So I was like, I was taking you to go get your car, but y'all were texting each other, having a... Basically, like, it was messed up because, like, I would always be there for him, but they plotting to, you know, like, try to jump me or yeah, take my car. Crazy. From, and it's just like, that was my day one. Like, that was the person that I always rocked with. And, you know, like, sometimes it's, it's hard to find. So loyalty is important. And one thing 21 said, you know, like, I'd rather have loyalty than love because love right. really don't mean jack. You can stab me in my face. So, you, look, I, I feel oh, old. Oh. Yes, yes, we get but, you. You know, so it's just like loyalty is important. But I think another thing that is important, one trait that I look at as important is trust. Because if you don't have trust, if you can't trust that person to like, you have people who sit around and they gossip all day. Right, you know, gossipers like, are crazy. Just talking about, you know, like y'all talking about other people. Like, hey, did you see it's what so-and-so did? Yeah. But my think about it, though. That. And yeah, and that's what I'm, parents know so much. My mom though. said if a girl's talking bad about a girl is talking bad about a girl to you, that she's probably saying the same thing to the other girl. Exactly. About you. If y'all fall off, you know, like or maybe y'all not even fall off, but y'all in bad terms, what makes you think they're not running their mouth right. about you? Yeah, well, you, my mom always was like, yeah, when you get to high school, the crowds that start changing and people start switching up and start getting into these groups of people, and you just really start opening up and figuring out who's your real friends you really do one thing i learned like it's just like i think you learn who your true friends are whenever the summertime comes because mm -hmm. you're probably only friends with them people because they have to adjust and find somebody to hang out right. with during In the school year class yeah you yeah know, like, and then like when it comes to summer you just hang out with the people you're really close with yep. that's it you mess around and not hear from nobody the whole you know like right. and it's like okay so like we're basically only friends because of our area code. And you think that person generally wants to be your friends. And that's when you have to, you know, like learn, like, okay, everybody's cool with you. They like you whenever it's sunny, but when it's raining out, you know, like whenever it's dark, you know, like I seen this quote, <laughs> pretty cool. It was like, <laughs> even your shadow leaves you in the dark and Dang. that's real. So, you know, like you have to determine like, who are your real friends? Yeah. And so how do you handle conflicts or disagreements with your friends? Okay. Do you want to go first, or? Honestly, I just kind of, like, I like to be like a duck and let it roll off my back. I don't really let these things affect me. Because if you do, that's all you're going to sit and dwell on. Might as well go focus on something that you genuinely love. Because you can't just sit and dwell on the hate and stuff. You right. You just can't. If I had a conflict with one of my friends, I'd probably just talk to them in person about it. Not, like, like be interrogating or whatever. Just, like, to help me understand what they meant when they said something yeah. like what they meant to go by or like if it was an accident or just trying to understand why like if they told someone something just understand why they they said that or they thought that okay so to answer both of those or just to you know ask a question based off both of those okay so like finley you said that you just you know like you kind of let it roll off i hate conflict okay but do you ever like 
What if what if that happens multiple times? Like, do you ever say anything about it, or do you just ghost them and cut them off, or like, how do you react to that? I kind of sit and wait till they're like they figure out what they want to do with like about it because I'm not gonna go out of my way if somebody's mad at me or just for something crazy. I'm not gonna go out of my way. I mean, if I did something, yeah, I'd be like, hey, I'm sorry. Like that's when I know. But if they're just gonna come up and start stuff, I'm not gonna do it. And right. that's what this generation has turned into, right. somebody always being the victim. And right. they, they just want to start problems. Yeah. When we should just be getting over the problem and figuring out how, where we should go from what happened. Right. And even piggybacking off on what Jamie said, um, I think I think in those situations, like the toughest conversations that you do not want to have, the toughest conversations make the biggest impacts and make right. friendship stronger, you know? And you can even think of it like a relationship wise, you know, like whenever situations happen and you don't talk about it, I think sometimes like that could eat you up. Like, and you know, like you have a right to feel, you know, like a certain type of way or a yeah, certain type right. of hurt if somebody does something to you. But I genuinely like, I think it's important to speak up on it, which nobody wants to do no conflict. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to ask yourself, you know, like, is this conversation important and worth having? Right. Because is this person benefiting me or like, why are we friends? You know, like, am I adding to their life? Or are they adding to my life? Or are they just somebody that I just hang out with? Or like, is this person even mature enough to have a conversation? Right. That's a big some, thing. You know, because some people aren't mature enough, you know, like in some people, you know, like, in those situations, they're just like, oh, no, like you're getting mad. You know, like you're overreact. Hold, like, hold yeah, on. Hold on. Talk. Hold on. Let's stop. I'm coming to you about a situation that I'm dealing with. Right. And I'm letting you know how I feel about it. If you're my friend, then you should care about how I feel about it. And it's not for me to try. I'm not talking to you in front of everybody. You know, like, I'm not confronting you in front of a big I'm coming mm -hmm. to you one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like. And I think I had a lot of friends that I was cool with that me, I'm the type of person that I'm not going to bring up a situation unless I feel like I have to. Yeah, like, right. If I feel like you're not ready for that conversation, I'm not going to bring it up unless you ask me or unless I feel like I'm put into a position where I have to like let you know. Like um I like one thing that I see like a lot of people do and I've always said like if I get into a relationship, I say a person will do what you allow. And so I don't cuss me genuinely, but um like I always say like if I get into a conversation and like somebody calls me like let's say it's it's my girlfriend or something, like somebody I'm in a relationship with. And, like, you know, people jokingly, like, use the B word, you know, like, hey, you B, you know, like, yeah. hey, hold on, look. Because if you allow that to happen in the joking situation, then a real serious situation, they can go off. But they, right. like, hey, I don't call you that, don't call me that. Right. Even it's if respect. it is a joking respect way. But it's just like, so you look at that, you know, like, and it's like, okay, so, like, how do you handle conflict? And if I come to you with a situation that, you know, like, if we're real friends, we're going to grow from that. Or we're going to build from that, right. you know, but that should not cause us to not be friends because, you know, like, oh, he's too soft, you know, like, or what? You know, okay, cool. Then maybe you weren't really my friend. Maybe you were somebody that would, regardless of maybe it's the friends that I have, you know, like, or the, the label that I have that you wanted to be a part of that. So you wanted to hang out with me. Maybe it's because I bought you stuff and you needed something, you know, mm -hmm. like, or maybe it's because you didn't <clears throat> want to feel alone or you wanted to adjust to somebody, you know, like, I don't know, like. Why are you my friend? And will it make an impact? You have to ask yourself, will it make an impact? And is this person mature enough to be able to have that conversation? Right. Because some people aren't mature enough to have that conversation. And yeah. with most friendships, I feel like you need to go through conflict a little bit to have the relationship grow and not stay in one place. Like, if you're real friends with someone, you could have a huge argument and come back from it. And that's how you really understand who a person is, is how they treat you whenever you're con not confront like confronting them like a bad thing just confronting them about something how they react to you is how they truly feel i agree yeah. i agree 100 percent. i think i think the best um the best reactions with somebody the best reactions with somebody is when okay hold on let me let me be careful how i say this i say you shouldn't have a conversation with somebody if you're hungry if you're mad or there's another one and i can't think of what the third one is but there's three of them. There's it's don't have a conversation with somebody. It yeah. might be tired. Yeah, because I, I can I can get mad at someone if I'm tired. But it's like no, it's it's not that. So the thing is, like in those situations, like 
you don't react based off how you feel. Like, you know, like, they be like, if you hungry, you know, like, don't go into the grocery store because you're going to buy everything you right. see. And so it's like, when you're mad, I feel like you should take time to be able to think of what you're going to say. Because in anger, I think genuinely people say exactly how they feel. And they've been waiting for a moment to say it, but they didn't want to say it at first. But now when they mad, oh, I'm going to let you know every Even little thing. Yeah, it's like tired, built up. Though, when you're tired at night, like, you can randomly, like, start something. I've noticed that. I saw a TikTok today, and I was like, that's so real. When I'm tired, I just get mad at everybody. Like, if you, if I'm tired and you do something, like, poke my side, I'm not talking to you for the rest of the night. Not I'll right, get no. so mad. Oh, like, don't Ugh. mess with me when I'm tired. Like, right. it's like, I'm irritated. Okay, look. I would usually have energy for this, but right now, bro, like, bro, chill out, bro. Right. Like, listen, mm-hmm. like, play somewhere else, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm... Bro, Don't I'm come ch- mess with me right now. Right, I'm not want to be messed with when I'm tired. Like, I'm sleepy, bro. Like, why are you... Me- bro, I will literally punch you. Like, why are you messing with... Like, I get irritated yeah, when I'm tired, you, you so know? Yeah, it so mad. And yeah. so, I also think, like, those are situations, you know, like, you have to be... You know, pay attention. And I think... um, it's a saying or some. It's the saying. I'm not gonna say the saying because I don't remember the saying. But I know like one of those situations. Like it's just like when somebody tells you something the first time. You know, like that's what they meant. You know, like, like get off, go like, away. I'm not doing this right now. Like if they tell you something, don't try to paint a picture over what they told you. Like they told you how they feel, regardless if it's a joking way or if it's just something that they said. Are there? You know, they say actions speak louder than words. You right. know, like if they show you something. Pay attention to what they're showing you. You know, like, don't try to ignore that. Be like, oh, yeah, no, that was just a different day or whatever. You know, like, now that doesn't mean just hold a grudge towards that person. But right. it's important to know somebody's character. If you had to call on yourself as a friend, do you think you'd be a good friend to call on? And it's okay, you know, like, because sometimes we have different things, you know, like, that we have to work on. Like, I still have things that I have to work on. But if you had to call on yourself as a friend, would you think that you're a good friend to call on? Like... In what situation, like, if I was, like, upset and calling a friend or, like... So, if you needed, like... So, we think of all the uh, characteristics of people, you know, like, that we have. Like, okay, like, I have this friend and I like this friend because of this. And if you put all those together and you had to call on yourself as a friend, do you think that you would be a good friend that somebody would call on? I feel like for the most part, I... Well, I, when I speak sometimes, though, I, like, say things without meaning them a certain way because mm-hmm. I just speak, and it sounds normal to me, but it might sound a certain way to them. Yeah. So I, I think that's, like, one of my only flaws when it comes to being a friend because I've gotten myself in situations where I've hurt someone else from saying something that really didn't mean what they thought it meant. But other than that, I feel like I'm a pretty good friend. Like, I, I think I give good advice, and I try not to, like, use anger towards people. I try to understand people more than get mad at them. Yeah. So I feel like I'm good. I'm very, I'm a good friend, but, like, I'm also very, like, I like to be alone. Like, I can be alone, and I really won't care. Right. I'm the type of person who's just, I don't really get my feelings hurt when it comes to that stuff. But, yeah. I mean, I'm a good friend. No, that's valid. <laughs> I think, so, genuinely, I think I am a good friend, but I do think that there are situations in life that kind of, you know, uh, built me to where, like, I sometimes keep a wall up where, like, Mm -hmm. if I'm, like, I love to call on people, you know, like, or not call on people, but I love, like, when people call on me, and I love, like, when people ask me for help, and I love to be there, and I love to help you, and I love to build friendships, and I'm a people's person, so I love talking to people, but if you get too close to me, I'm gonna push you away. Like, it's so bad, but I, like, I've gotten better at not doing that as much. But at the same time, like, there's certain friendships that I have. Now. And, you know, like, I used to always say, I don't know, it could work both ways. You know, like, I used to always say, like, I don't have a lot of friends that are super close. Maybe it's because, mm-hmm. like, I'm pushing them away. Or maybe it's, I don't know. I do have trust issues at times, you know. Like, so, like, when somebody's getting close, I'm like, nah, bro, like, let me test this per And I, right. should, I should never put somebody to the test. But if you're getting super close to me, like, I'm like... I, t- I try to find ways to push them away, it's you know, like, or try to cut them off, you know, like, yeah. because I'm like, in my head, it's like, the reason why I do that, like, in my head, is because, like, okay, I feel like this person is going to abandon me or leave me, so let me just do the honors and let me leave this person first, so let me mess up or sabotage that relationship or that friendship that I have with this person so that I don't get hurt in the right. end, and that's a bad thing to do, so I think that I'm a good friend. But when it comes to long-term relationships with a friend, then yeah. it's like, 
okay, am I really a good friend? Mm-hmm. Well, Be- Jamie said earlier, she was like, yeah, you know a lot of people. I might know a lot of people, but, like, it's so crazy. I feel like I've lost so many friends this year just because people have found, like, their crowd. And it kind of sucks because I do end up being the friend that's, like, a floater. And people have these designated, like, groups and stuff to when, like, I don't really get invited and I'm more of, like, a side character. And it kind of sucks sometimes, but, like, at the same time, I'm like, I have stuff I need to do, too. I just can't let this, like, bring me down. Because I know I got everyone. I know I have a bunch of friends. It's just hard sometimes. Yeah, I understand that. I, at my school, like, everybody has groups. And, like, my group doesn't really go to my school. Like, my youth group is, like, my group. So I'm friends with people who are already in their group. So I get what you're saying by not being invited because I'll have a really close friend and they'll go hang out with people I know. And it's like, I didn't but get invited. But you're not that close. Right, I'm not people. that Ooh, close. But I feel that. I just, like, it gets, it sucks sometimes being the floater, but at the same time, you just got to know, like, who you are, what you want to do. Right. I completely feel that because, like, I smile so much and I'm such a people's person. They're like, yeah, oh, Skuma, same. he knows everybody. Right. No, like, I know a lot of people, but at the same time, like... I feel so lonely. I'm not as close to people as... Like, you would think, like, I'm I'm real, like, big on, like, whenever I'm in groups and stuff. You're like, oh, Skuma, what's up? You know, like, yeah. hey, you know, like, have fun, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, but when it comes to, like, leaving, like, like, maybe, like... I guess I'm involved in, like, a lot of, like, church things, you know, like, so, like, maybe, like, the youth group, or maybe when I'm um, at a church event, or maybe, like, a rally, or, you know, like, uh, the college ministry that I'm on, like, I'm in groups of people, but when it comes to leaving those groups, it's like, dang, like, I might got, like, like I said in the beginning, like, I have, like, three or four friends, maybe two or three, you know, like, maybe one or two, like, it's not a huge amount of friends, but I have certain people that I can call on, but it's not really people that I'm able to spend time with or exactly. hang out with. And so it's like... Like you said with the whole summer thing, that's when you know. Right. It's crazy. And even like, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, when I see, like, I do feel like the floating friend. Like, I feel like I'm a friend of the friend in that group. But yeah. I'm not like one of, not necessarily the main friend, but like, dang, like, you know, side like... Side character type stuff. Side yeah. character. Because it's like, okay, like, I'm associated with these people like i know these people we have a certain type of relationship to a certain extent but those two are close and those two are close those four are close together but those two are still close to them too and so it's like i'm here i'm not close with anybody but i'm cool with everybody you know and so it's just like you've seen my right. lunch table i don't really talk i just kind of your lunch table in the nicest way those girls are kind of really um immature when it comes to talking uh-huh. about people it's mm. bad. It gets yeah, really they, bad. All they do is cuss left and right. <laughs> and Honestly, yell. I've tried, like, sitting away. Like, some days I'm not, like, I try to go sit with my other friends. But then it's hard because those aren't my closest friends. No, no, nobody in that lunch is, like, my people, if right. that makes sense. So, yeah. honestly, I just kind of got to stick with what I got. <laughs> it's tough, you know. And sometimes, you know, like, it's all it takes is, like, one or two good, solid friends that you know you can count on. And so Make your circle small. you yeah. have to, and, and I think that's important just because like, I think you really have to realize like who your true friends are, not trying to fit into with the group because we see like, even after this conversation, like there's so many different scenarios and so many different things that fit into. And I think people throw words out there, like left or right, you oh, know, yeah. like friend, oh, I love you. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that's fam. Oh, that's my bro. Oh, that's my day one. Oh, that's my twin. You know, like yeah. throwing these words out there, but like, and it's dangerous to just throw like, those words because it's like, they don't stick, you know, like, yeah. so then if that's your friend, but you call that person friend, like, can you call on both of them? You know, like whenever you are struggling and you have a flat tire or, you know, like, Leaving high school is what's scary, too. Going to college, not going to college. You don't know where all these people are going to go, so you just can't sit and think about, like, everything somebody's done to you in the past or something, you know? And sometimes you sit in the moment, you know, like, he's like, oh, yeah, that's my friend. You're, like, not thinking, like, two or three weeks ahead, you know, like, or even, like, whenever we talk about those tough conversations, you know, it's like, I thought that was my friend. Like, we was cool, and, you know, like, I don't, and, Man, it's so hard to get in those conversations, though. Like, it's so hard to really have those deep conversations. Because you don't want to have those, you know, like... And I think that's also where, like, I say, like, my my situation of wanting to push people away or abandonment comes... Because 
genuinely like I think I can handle it. No, I, I I know I can handle a tough conversation, you know, like, right. and at the end of the day, it's either we're going to grow or we're going to separate, you know, but at the end of the day, I rather know so that I can prepare, you know, like for moving forward, how I should react or how I right. should, you know, like communicate with this person. Cause it's like, okay, cool. Thought this person was my friend. Talk to him about how I spoke or how I felt, you know, like we grew apart. Okay, well, you know, like... You just we're gotta not shake it off. You gotta shake it yeah, off and keep moving. You're gonna your meet way. so many people in life, you just can't sit and dwell on it. Right. So many people. You and know, God will bring people in and out of your life whenever you need them. You and he show. always does. He always does. And so that's why it's just like, you know, what does a real friend look like? You know, like, is this my real friend? You know? And some of these questions you have to ask, like, okay, like... Why are they hanging out with me? You know, like, and sometimes, you know, like, you, you have to be real with yourself and say, like, why am I are friend they with this person? Are just using me just to yeah. have somebody in the moment? Are they using you? People are in school they... use you a lot for, like, answers. That's a <laughs> that's a thing I've, like, I've, uh, had, I've had friends and then they don't talk to me next year when we have no classes together. See, and that's out. what I mean. The like, people who ask for answers. <laughs> unless you were friends before But that they don't class. come off like that. Right. It's always like... It sucks because people always like it's double face. Like, oh, what's up, yeah. Jamie? Like, oh, we but super then cool. When you're out in public, they're not gonna go up and say hi to you, right? You see you each other say at Walmart. Nothing. You don't even like you look make eye contact. The other person walks away. That's what's so crazy about this generation too. I try to say hi to everybody I know out in public. I'm like, hey, you yeah, know? same. It's I do, wild. and it's like, oh no, I got my group over here. Like, I, I don't right. know that person. You know. Like, you know, they try to wave and then yeah, turn their head real Don't quick. Like, like, are we cool or are we not? Like, you know, like, and then they want to come back. Hey, what's up? Sco yeah, no, bro. Cool. Did you see it's how so you funny. acted in public? Like, you not even. They think it's cool to, like, not say hi now. Or, like, not even make. Not even smile at someone. No, they'll just this look at you. It's a simple two or three words, bro. I don't need to have a full-blown conversation with you, but I see you in public. What's good? Smile. Like, what's up? Smile you know, like, somebody. Hey, like. You embarrassed to be my either we friends or we not, you right. know. Like, and people always come with this side eye half relationship, not fully committed. And crazy, you know, this conversation can go on for so long. But these are just a few details, you know, like about you know, like okay, what 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 does friendship look like in this uh, generation? Um, what should I be asking? You know, like yeah. how do I know this is my real friend? Or are we really cool? Like, are they using like people do use you for answers? You know, like yeah. or is use it because like they're alone using you for rides? You know, everybody like, at my learning. school uses someone older for rides. It's wild, and they know how to play the part. That's oh, what makes wild. it so dangerous. Like even Christians, you know, like who go to church. You know, like I go to church. You know, like and I think I'm a good you know impact or inspiration, but. You know how to play the part, you know, like, and yeah. it's just like, oh, I can, bl all I got to do is be cool with this person to be nice to this person whenever I see them. And, and then, then I whenever I need I something, exactly. And it's so dangerous. It is. And so you got to ask these questions, you know, like, and so like over, you know, like, are you willing to have, you know, like deep conversations with people? Are they mature enough to be able to have those deep conversations? You know, like, will they be there for you whenever you need somebody? What sucks is you can work your butt off on trying to figure all this out, though, but honestly, you'll never know. You don't know. know. You won't know. know. Till, it, till it ends. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to just be like, you know what? Let me just push this person away. They're, you know, like... they're fake friends right there. Why? Yeah. Yeah, she posted a picture of me that I sent in a group chat just for us. So and I said, don't say the thing. She's a fake friend, not me. She posted it. Right, that's a fake friend. If y'all don't know what she's talking about, two people hi? just walked in. Yeah, and she just, you they're know. fake. But, not heaven. Hey, we're going to wrap this up, you know. Um, thank you for being a part. And we might make a part two based off how this reacts. But at the end of the day, you know, you have to ask yourself, you know, like, what is a true friend? What does it look like? What are the characteristics? Are you able to have deep conversations? Will they be there for you? And it's, you know, it's hard to figure out sometimes. But it's it's crazy in this generation that we live in. But, hey, y'all, thanks for participating, Thank you know. You. Share, comment, you know. Thanks for the clothes. <laughs> hey.